Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is setting language type and translation. As we all know that PowerPoint is a multilingual tool, so it is evident that there would be an option to set the default language type that is used for all these slides. I'll show you in this session that how we can change the language type. Course goal for this session is that we learn how to set the language type and we learn how to, to set the proofing options and we'll discuss about how to translate the selected text. Now I'll show you how we can set the language type. Click on review tab we have an option here language. Once you click on this, you will get the language preferences. Click on the language pre preferences and you will get the options here like English, Indian, US. So you can select it and click on set as default. Once you click on set as default, you will get a dialog box open here which, which is saying that office default editing language has been changed and it will take effect the next time that you start your Microsoft Office program. This change may replace some of your customizations such as your preferred fonts in the black, blank document templates. Do you want to continue? Then you can click on yes and no as per that. I'm clicking on no right now because I don't want any of the presentation change its format. So there is the option of changing the language type from here. Default language type selected currently is English India. This is the default one selected. Suppose if I'm going to click on this and want to set it, set this English US as default, I'll click here and click on set as default. Here you can you can add some more languages like for example Hindi selected right now but it's showing you the for the proofing as not installed keyboard layout is enabled however the proofing spelling grammars is not installed it means that if you're going to type something in Hindi then it, it cannot check for the spelling mistakes and the grammar mistakes if you want to do the proofing also for your document you need to install that click on this option not installed and it will take you to the microsoft site microsoft.com office.com you will get certain options here like the language pack if you want to buy or language interface pack once you click here you will get the proofing tools and screen tips as well you can download that from the internet also all right so coming back to the window again then second is the set the language priority order for the button tabs and help currently match Microsoft Windows this is selected as per your requirement you can make make that English also you can change the priority with the help of this arrow key you can change the priorities. English would be the priority now. So this is the screen on which you can make the changes for setting the language type. It's saying that you have changed your language preferences. So if you want the changes to take effect, you need to restart the office. Click on OK and save your work and then close the MS Office, restart it again if you want to see the changes. Let's close the box because we haven't made any changes. Anytime you are going to edit anything, you are trying to make certain changes in the language preferences, it's going to show you the message that there are certain changes that are going to take place once you restart the office. So this is how we can change the default language. There is one important feature. Once you click here, you'll get two options. Set the proofing language and language preferences. Suppose currently we have not selected any, any text on the slide. 
so we can only see the language preferences it means that the powerpoint has some preference for the language whenever you are going to open up the document whenever you are start typing on that then it's going to choose the default language which is selected in the powerpoint but suppose if you want to do the editing with the proofing select the text first then click here you'll get the option highlighted now set the proofing language click on this currently english us is selected click on ok because we are typing the entire uh, presentation in english language and we want to check for the errors as per the english dictionary so the proofing language or the proofing te proofing text we have selected here is english us and you can click on ok there is one check box in the bottom that is do not check the spellings you can place a check mark here and click on ok if you want that the powerpoint would not check for the errors it won't show you the wavy lines it won't check for the errors suppose if you have certain document where a lot of names are included the places name the people name and you really want that the powerpoint would not show you any error so you can click on this message do not check these uh, spellings and you can click on ok so these are the two options we have seen for uh, for setting the default language type and for setting the proofing language but proofing language option this is enabled only if you select the text in the slide then the alternate option the second option is translate the selected text once you click on this on the right hand side you will get certain option like search for the language and translation currently we have uh, we have the document written in english us language and if you want to change it to some other language this is the word we have selected now let's make the selection for setting language type this is the one which we want to change you can click on insert yeah and the text is replaced with the language in this way you can enter the selected text the translated text in this way you can translate the text as well I have shown you that how we can change, we can uh, translate the text, we can set the proofing options also. We have selected the review tab and then we have come up with this option language and the translate. The other alternative would be you can do it with the backstage view also. Click on file, then click on options. You have the language tab here. Click here on the language and you'll get the same dialog box here for changing the default language for your M MS PowerPoint you can click on the language you want to send the um, that as default click on this and then click on the button set as default and in the same way you can set the language priority also so in this way we can make the changes in the language option we can set any other language as the default we can change the priorities so that was it for today's session we have learned how the language type is changed how we can modify the proofing option we can set the proofing options and how we can translate the selected text to a different language so that was it for today's session. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.